Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for the Collective. All right. Uh oh, I have 12 of the houses here for the Astrology Life Wheel. Now, since <laughs> I seem to get distracted with my ADHD <laughs> and uh, wasn't really um, doing the wheel properly, uh, I feel with all of these decks here, I can't go wrong. <laughs> All right, so I kind of get distracted and start doing a different reading. So let's get started on the theme of the astrology life wheel here. Let's see, okay, I just one, okay. I might have two for there, that's fine. All right, uh, blue and green. Okay, I think that's probably enough. It's on the bottom of the deck. What is the outcome that will help me get over my ex? Ooh, so some of you, not all of you, of course, this is a general reading, so some of this may apply and the rest let it fly. <laughs> all right, let's see. You've been so patient. Your life is upgraded. Love and money, looks like. Cool, cool. I don't know if we can see that. Uh, not really. Um, I don't really have a lot of room, so I might just leave these in the middle. A life partner is one who is on your team, not your opponent. All right. Self-awareness. Don't let your pride or ego blind you. Act with humility or humanity. So take off the rose-colored glasses it is all a romantic illusion of what could be, not what is. Your love shares your values and beliefs. Money flows to you effortlessly. Looks like I had a cut on my finger or something. It looks like blood. <laughs> all right. And then we have bride and groom, wedding in your future. What? Whoa. Oh. And not if you don't want it to be. So, <laughs> of course, if you don't believe in getting married, then, of course, that's, you know, it's more of a commitment, uh, lifelong commitment kind of thing. So whether or not you get married is here nor there. So, all right. So, wow. Okay. So we got a few different uh, things coming in for this. It might even be too many that are kind of, making it a little complicated so they share your beliefs they're on your team a wedding is coming money flows to you you've been upgraded um don't let your ego and pride get in the way and look at what is not what could be um in your romantic illusion of what this person could be see them for what they are right now so and then it is what outcome will help you get over your ex so that is a question so we'll see if we get answers so we're going to start with self here and let's have a look and see what comes through for how you are for your personality your physical and your appearance coming through on the first house and this is for any of the zodiac signs. So collective, let's see what comes through. Ah, healing chaos. Wow. Okay. I think I've maybe got my deck upside down. I'm taking them all in the upright. So, and then we have gateway. So that's how I'm going to do these. I'm only going to take the two, one that comes out and then one on the bottom. So we have a gateway to healing chaos here. So. Wow. So people may see you as somebody that is either a gateway to things uh, or that you're able to heal chaos, which is incredible because uh, you might be the one to come in and change the whole vibration of the room is kind of what I'm getting with that. So you have that open communication with spirit to kind of sense feel um and uh, i'm getting feel their thought see be aware there's awareness here there's intuition here i'm getting um maybe even some clairs here clairvoyance or uh clair audience clair transience there's a lot of clairs so you you can look up the clairs if you don't know what the clairs are 
Let's see what's coming through for money. Oh, whoa. Okay, well, that's way too many spirit. But there is one that's poking through. Ah, there's an ending here for a mean male. And, oh, has to do uh, maybe with somebody immature with the child here. Or is an ending and there's a child involved here. So I'm hoping we get all of this in the camera because... Uh, I had to take some things out in order to fit all this in. So, <laughs> all right, let's move on to, so this is the money aspect of it. So this main, main, main male might be, um, this is what they have. So they may end up with uh, custody of the child. It's kind of what I'm getting there or uh, is ending something with somebody that's immature. So what's the Gemini communication here? Now, these are all things that you have with your free will here up until the third house. So let's just see what your free will shows. These are people that have their free will and it could be you. This could be your person. So take it however it resonates. Empowerment. Okay. So now this could be healing chaos. This could be you or your person. So if you're a masculine here, or you may be uh, a feminine showing up in your masculine. So take it how it resonates for you. Okay. Oh, empowerment and travel. So this person might be traveling towards you, or you may be uh, maybe traveling towards them. All right. Hoping that can be seen. Good, good. And hopefully you can read those. There we go. All right. So we have, now this is stuff that is faded. All right. Once we get to the fourth house, this is uh, home, people, and the past. So I have the past cards here. So we're going to see what comes through here for the home, the people, and the past. Home, people, and past. What do we have for the collective? Okay, we got three. Okay, I'm, I'm supposed to take them. All right, scribe or writer. So maybe you're meant to write a book or maybe somebody's done something about... Oh, wow, look at this. This may even be like um, I'm getting a generational book, like what previous generations uh, lived or uh, what they did in their life. Maybe there was somebody that was a witch here that was the medicine woman or man, uh, very intuitive, and maybe even was somebody that scribed in order to connect with spirit, like Tyler Henry. So, oh, and a baby. Okay, so maybe, maybe you have a child or... This is funny that the child and the baby are coming up. Maybe this is somebody you had children with. Okay. You might be a writer, or maybe your person is a writer. Wow. Maybe they do children's books. Maybe for the gifted children that don't know what's going on when they get scared if they're getting in touch with spirit. Because kids really do see spirit way better than we do when it comes to things. Did something just fall on the floor? Oh, no, it was something else. I thought it was one of the cards. Okay, simplify your life. I cherish the simple pleasures of life. So cleaning up those cup clutter here is kind of making room for maybe this person to come in. Making a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. And this is um, the fifth house. This is what your self-love is and your interest, your creativity so I feel like whatever you do, you might be one of those people that whatever you take on, you do well, uh, that you're good at. You you end up being really good at everything you try, or mostly everything you try, if it's not all. Let's see here. So this is your work and service, your career. So we've got the career cards here. Let's see. These are the purpose cards. So let's see what comes in for what you're doing for your career or what you're maybe meant to be doing in this life. Let's see. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask the divine for guidance. So 
somebody may be wondering what their career might be that they're meant to be doing as uh, of service to humanity or some type of service for God um, or spirit. Let's see. Oh, flowers. Flowers might be something. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessing to others through life purpose. So maybe you have something to do with flowers. Maybe it's painting flowers or you have a a florist, maybe you're a florist, or you have uh, something to do with flowers. Maybe you dry flowers, package them, and send them off to people that want to use them for resin or for crafts or something. I don't know. I, I'm kind of getting a, quite a few things with the flowers. They may just mean something to somebody here. And I'm getting here. So this is relationships for the seventh house. Now, this is um, public now, okay? So these might be things that, because uh, we have private on this half, we have public on the top half, we have this half is uh, free will, and this half is faded. So we're still in the faded, but this is now public. Um, people may see these things. All right, rendezvous. Whoa, a private getaway for two is calling you. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, is someone else here or is what's why is it private? Oh, a twin flame recognition. Oh boy. So somebody's gonna recognize their twin. Ah, there may be in disguise. Some elements in this relationship are hidden. Now it might be that these rendezvous are the one, the part that is hidden. So take it however it's resonating for you. Maybe, um, maybe it's a secret for a reason. Maybe you're trying not to have too many people know about it. Maybe you have a crazy ex that you don't want somebody to see, or you don't want anybody interfering in this relationship of some sort here <clears throat> because it is public. So it might be uh, public because of who it is with. And that might be why it's secret. So let's see here, uh, birth and death, sexuality and fertility. So let's see what comes through for this. This is the eighth house and this is still public. So people see these things. Maybe what you believe in, birth and death of things or rebirth, I guess. Ah, a woman holding their heart. Okay, so we have that and we have anxiety. Okay, so you might be anxious about this, maybe getting found out. Maybe it's not, I'm not getting necessarily another woman. It's just you're not, you're not wanting anybody to know because you don't want maybe some backlash from family or maybe they don't like this person. It could also be that uh, you don't want anybody to get to know them yet until you are making sure that this is the one or you're not bringing them around family until you know that this is going somewhere. Let's see here. You might be keeping things more to yourself now and not being an open book to everybody. All right, number nine, uh, house, whoa, belief. Notice the pattern and look in the mirror. <laughs> of course, it is a twin flame, so you might see it in yourself, and you may see certain patterns as well. Low down, so don't go too quickly when it comes to this um, relationship or this rendezvous that you're having here. <laughs> um, all right, and make sure you take your time with this. Don't jump into bed right away either. So let's, let's slow down, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, that's the sun. Okay, well, we got the sun showing now too. I, I <laughs> This is going to make you happy. I mean, or something's going to come to light here. So notice the pattern. So maybe this is that you do the same thing as this person. So you're looking in the mirror because everything you do, you mirror as your person mirrors you, you mirror them. So maybe you're noticing certain patterns about yourself because looking in the mirror, right? So let's see what is coming through for, what is this? 
Okay, if this was birth and death, this is belief and spirit. So that's that one. And now we have purpose, which is still public, but it's free will. So what do we have for purpose for the 10th house? For the 10th house. And if we were to go Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, uh, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn for purpose. And then we have Aquarius and Pisces. So let's look at purpose with the 10th house and Capricorn sign, I guess. If you go from, I mean, everybody's chart is going to be different, right? So ending a trauma, which is funny that healing chaos is here. So, and self-creation, be the author of your own life. So it looks like you're getting the freedom to do what you're meant to be doing here. And of course you have that free will, which is ironic that it comes up over here <laughs> in this house. Simple pleasures. Look for beauty that is all around you. Now, ending a trauma, self-creation. So this person may trigger you a bit. Maybe you're feeling like it's uh, only for sex or is it for more than that? I feel like you're going to see certain things happening here. Um, this may have take a while for this to come through for you so by slowing down on maybe certain things here let's, let's just see what's coming through for friendship here now this is going to be humanity this is going to be universal uh, values this is i know and uh, hopes and aspirations and love received kind of ideas here self-sabotage and I think I've got the self in reverse okay so be careful not to self-sabotage and let things go let things go so you're not sabotaging this relationship I don't know if I should be yeah I guess like it's the way I've been going all the way around <laughs> it's upside down mind you but we'll see I might flip them around because it might be too hard to look at it that way Let's see slow down there we go now we have Pisces secrets. Uh, these are going to be what you sacrifice. This is going to be karma. This is going to be hidden strength. This is going to be uh, focusing on things of value. Okay. And then we have the universe is guiding you towards that special someone. Just let everything take its course. Wow. <laughs> So it's going to be valuing this person and you're going to value certain things. I feel like you show your value. And this is kind of what I'm getting with that is you, you're showing what your value is. This person may be as well. I feel like um, you're going to be able to let that anxiety go. You're going to be happy with this person. I, I, although there is a disguise here, but there's a twin flame rendezvous going on here. There might even be more than one person. Uh, we're going to see, though, because we're going to do, oh, whoa, this came off the top, and true love is coming. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that weird that that happened like that? Wow. Oh, I must have caught it on my sleeve or something. <laughs> oh, walking away. Okay, well, that was pretty much summing up right here, the coffin and the child and the main uh, male here but I mean healing this comp this is where it really starts so knowing they have to walk away there's they're healing this chaos by walking away the gate is open for them to go through and this is free will still so maybe wanting to plant seeds with someone else so there's that ending right there they go through with the ending so knowing the only way to get out of the chaos is to get the hell out of there um, so empowerment and travel. So let's see. Tell me about the empowerment and travel. Ah, yes. And I'm only taking these in the upright, by the way. So this is uh, life changing events with that tower coming through. Uh, oh, I think I got these upside down. I do. Okay. Wow. 
Now, in the past, this may be a past love. Um, it also could be home or people. So it could be a certain person that you maybe see as somebody that is a witch, maybe, or uh, when I say witch, I'm just saying they're spiritual and they do um, maybe their own incantations about being protected and not that they're doing dark magic either just because you're a, a witch there's certain types of witches too right there's the um garden witch who's really good with herbs and plants and stuff like that and then there's other witches as well and it's not just that you're going to do dark magic just because you're called a witch i mean being a witch is part of being a tarot reader isn't it so I mean, we're all kind of witchy <laughs> when you think about it, because we all kind of do our own magic to get to win our best life or to have our best life. So to me, it's being a witch is a good thing. I mean, it's just that you believe in yourself, you believe in your life going forward, and you believe in things that spirit's bringing up for you. All right. Wow. Oh, okay. So you're going to make a difference simplifying your life here with the four of wands. This is happy home. Okay. And this is um, the fifth house. So this is about uh, self-love. So this is with the four. This is happy home, happy life. Oh, this is beautiful. This is that peace and restful type of uh, home that you have. It's happy. It's har harmony and beauty and love is in the air kind of type of uh atmosphere so you're cleaning it up for somebody to be able to come in so flowers and talk to your angels is about your one two three four five six six house so this is going to be uh your work and service right because it's the green cards so talk to your angels and flowers have something to do with this oh boy so we have desire or this may be toxicity? No. Yeah. Okay. So there may be, um, what am I getting? Intuition and desire and sadness here. Why is that here? The moon, the devil, and the five of cups. I feel like somebody might be um hiding some desire and or some facing some situation that may cause them sad sadness here so with the devil card it might be just a capricorn so i'm kind of getting um and with the moon uh this is kind of the empress oh no the moon is high priestess so i'm getting high priestess intuition maybe secret uh how they feel about you desire uh and they may be sad because of what's going on here right so let's just see what's coming through for the next one it might be a disguise in the way that there's things that are hidden but maybe about how much they desire you or how much they um see you as their twin flames so let's let's just see here ah we have the hierophant oh, my cards are upside down again wow this might be about marriage material or uh spirituality here it could be about values i suppose uh i feel like this is kind of um maybe even traditions maybe you have the same traditions or same type of upbringing here all right, so let's hey, give me another card for the high or the higher effect, please. Oh, thank you. Ah, taking that leap of faith. <laughs> Maybe it's marriage. I don't know. Let's see. Woman holding her heart here. There's a bit of anxiety and sun. Oh, judgments. Maybe this person's judging you. Okay. This is about um because this is about partnership and marriage or harmony. Yeah, marriage and relationships and opponents. But it looks good here. Um, the woman holding her heart here. This is about regeneration, uh, attitudes, sex, death, 
and other people's money, the occult. But I see this is all good as well. Maybe you're using your judgment call or um, this may also be something's coming to light. Uh, maybe somebody judged you wrong or maybe is judging you now. Maybe you're judging somebody. Hmm. So we have the Four of Cups in the philosophy. Yeah, that, I believe that's philosophy with the Ninth House. Yeah. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it's the tenth, tenth house. Okay, so it's the tenth, eleventh, twelfth. Yeah, that's right, because that's already open. Yeah. All right. Uh, self sabotage. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet. So this is gonna be the eighth house because we are just at regeneration. What they desire. All right, so that's judgment, and it might be, um, I'm going to keep this with this one, because I kind of feel like I was supposed to put that with that, and this may be that regeneration here, and with that four of cups, this may have been dissatisfied, or had contempt, or there was some type of lack, but there's anxiety, maybe somebody judged you wrong here in the past, or is judging you wrong now. Notice the pattern, look in the mirror and slow down. And this is, this has got to be the philosophy I see. And this is about your belief system. Ah, using your intuition with the high priestess here. Okay, so definitely uh, I feel like there's, maybe you're both. Oh, look at this. Okay, so what's the next part? Structure, reputation, career, uh, business, and this is ending of a trauma and self creation. There's something, oh, you might know there's somebody coming in, um, or that you've been waiting for this person to come in for a long time. Uh, worrying about self sabotaging behavior and letting certain things go. Ah, see, so you're letting it go, it's going. Bye bye. <laughs> the eight of wands. So definitely um break through through this and you're letting this go or your person is. So give what else with that eight of wands here? Yeah, you're gonna communicate certain things here. I feel like you're gonna let things go and able to come through for that. Now, what about Pisces and secrets? There's values and there was something else here that was supposed to be in here. Values and oh, yeah, the universe is bringing this person in. So let's see, they're coming in, they want to communicate. So, ah, having the strength here with the Leo card, maybe a Leo. Let's see. Ah, okay, so people might talk shit about this. Uh, this may have been somebody that talked shit about you. Oh, but look at you. You're very determined. You might have started a business or doing something here. With Five of Swords, this could just be an argument or conflict that you're having here, uh, maybe with the universe even, or about this person coming in. Maybe you don't start off on the right foot with this person. <laughs> oh, you may see them as a player, player, shady, shady ass shit here going on. Uh, maybe trying to get away with something or something or other here. Let's see. They may have talked shit about you, may have cheated on you, or well, you may think you might be judging this person thinking they are somebody that uh, you may have walked away from this person or you're needing to. Whoa, that one kind of flipped out. Ah, uh, yeah, you might be that wounded warrior. The spirit may have somebody else coming in for you. What, what? But this person is looking like they are emotionally available um, and balanced. So tell me about this King of Cups. Oh, something's coming to light or they're going to make you happy. Now, why are we walking away? Uh, maybe about a conversation. Maybe they walked away from you. 
tell me about wondering if this queen of wands is somebody else here hmm okay so tell me about these five of swords oh this may be somebody that's very attractive or was attracted to you. Five of Swords and the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands is here. Hmm. May have been somebody that was attracted to you. Somebody may have talked shit about you. Maybe they didn't come forward because of that reason. And they might be now. Yeah, they're you or them are financially independent here. So maybe they had to walk away from somebody first to come in here for this. Which it kind of shows they do. This may even be surprising to you with this tower coming through. Something that's going to kind of shock you that somebody is in love with you. Wants to maybe marry you. You might have these mixed feelings here about taking this leap of faith, maybe even about marriage. You may be feeling lacking in uh, some type of judgment call you've made. Maybe this person's feeling lacking that maybe because of the way you love. You're using your intuition. It looks like you both know that you are maybe... Um, meant to be together but there might be a lot of uh, fear here let's see oh ace of wands so a new beginning of some sort here i was trying to see what this other card was and that kind of popped out oh yeah waiting for something here waiting for a certain person maybe or waiting for somebody that's emotionally balanced so whatever is coming in for you is coming in. Now, there may be a bit of a conflict here about something, though. It looks like the universe is trying to bring somebody in for you, but this may be some, somebody else might be talking shit about you. Hmm. And this person, is this person still going to come through? Ooh. Queen of Cups, they may see you as a sweetheart. So they may not see the same view as what other people may be saying about you. Yeah, they might want to team up with you and uh, regardless of what other people are saying. And kudos to that person because, damn, there is a true love that is coming in for you. And uh, whatever this X is... Um, to help you get over this is letting this go so definitely I feel like you're going to be able to let that go and be able to move forward so this person might help you do so this person's going to come through for you we have two different um uh, with the queen and king of cups and the queen and king of wands so these are two divine unions coming through here you may have two different people to choose from. One may be somebody from the past that was no good for you. And one may be um, the right person that you're meant to come through with. Maybe you marry the wrong person here uh, and want to maybe get divorced and get another uh, into a different relationship. So, wow. Well, Kind of take a, I'm getting kind of different things for different people. And of course, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and let the rest go. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like th there's something you're going to let go. Yeah, letting go and self-sabotage. So I feel like uh, if you do sabotage things, I feel like um, somebody else might be coming into the mix as well. And one of these people, you're going to have to make a choice out of. There's two potentials here. And I feel like you're going to have to make a decision. Somebody might be lacking in what you're looking for. 
and the other one uh, may have uh, had some shady ass behavior. Maybe they did things in their past that were um, shady. Uh, maybe play a play. They are attractive, very attractive. I feel like they're not listening to what everybody else has to say about you. I feel like a lot of people might be jealous of you, of your light, and it affects their demons. They may not like the fact that you're um, emotionally balanced or connected. Uh, they may not like, or you may even scare them because <laughs> I kind of feel like you might have gifts. And you, when you talk to people, it may really resonate with them and affect their life more than you realize. It's things that they get from you that they maybe didn't realize about themselves or it's like I don't know it's like they're drawn to you you may walk into the room and change the whole atmosphere of what it was once was when you walk in the room and it's quite different how you come across to everybody versus how the room was before you got there I feel like it's like an uplifting uh, whirlwind energy of people just can't help but want to talk with you and uh, maybe even get to know you or be in your energy. And it's uh, interesting here because that other person is mirroring you. So they may have the same effect when they walk in a room. So it may be like a power couple right away when you're both um, in the same room where it's this dynamic of whirlwind of energy that's so beautiful it's it's going to be hard not to be attracted to that person I feel like you're going to automatically recognize one another as that twin uh, if it is the twin that you end up um, going with so wow one is a true love, and I feel like the other one may just be an illusion. So be careful on who you're choosing. Really go within and take your time with the slow down there. Um, and uh, maybe watch and be aware of any hidden anything. If they're trying to hide you away, if they, unless this is you wanting to hide things so people don't get into your relationship too much then that's one thing but if they're trying to hide you from people because they don't want people to know they're with you um it may be because uh, other people may come down on it down on them for being with you and may not like you or whatever reason or if they're people are talking about you in a negative way they don't want to be associated to you so it's like one is kind of doing it on the down low for a different reason than maybe what you may be doing it for. So be careful of that as well. I'm getting that coming through as well. I'm kind of getting also uh, with the strength and the chariot kind of thing. It might be you have the power to kind of overcome anything here. And I feel like... Hmm. Because we do have the lovers, or not the lovers, the um, two cups here. And then we also have uh, the moon and the devil. So this is kind of like... Hiding uh, some type of desire or hidden kind of... Maybe they haven't faced some of these things. They may be obsessed about this relationship or um, this may be that self-sabotaging behavior here that they're keeping secret that uh, they maybe cry about. Maybe talking to their angels. Maybe one isn't able to come with you here on their journey and you might be getting that from spirit. Certain people aren't meant to come with you. So they might be guiding you uh, to someone new, especially if it's an ex that's coming back around. There's going to be some life-changing things coming through for you. I like 
this for you. I, whoever you are, there's some power of couple coming through on here. Um, whether it's the wands or the cups, uh, I feel like there's a lot of love and um, a lot of desire. There's there's things coming through that are going to be. It's like <laughs> it's just like the um, if you're a feminine, it's like the masculine version of yourself. You know what I mean? It's just kind of weird how that's coming through like that, like looking in the mirror, but there's a male and a female when they look in the mirror and it's a male version of yourself if you're female and we're a female version of yourself if you're male or it can be the same sex too. It doesn't have to be male and female. Although we do have a masculine side and a feminine side within each and every one of us, right? So it's like, which side are you coming out as? Uh, the masculine or the feminine, the um, harder version or the softer version of yourself, right? And looking within those uh, shadow side of you to kind of be embracing your your dark side and your light side okay and having that control within yourself with that self-control so i feel like this is i don't know that was kind of random why i don't know what that was about but that was for somebody i suppose um i feel like this may be in uh somebody that's pretty kind there is a, a kind person coming through, quite an easygoing kind of individual here. I'm getting like um, somebody that's really going to have your back, that team player, a sweetheart that's coming through or they're seeing you as a sweetheart. They may even have gifts of their own. I feel like when you tap in and things, there might be some telepathy here. Maybe that's what I'm getting here. It's kind of like a telepathic kind of connection here. Oh, um, I'm going to do an astrology card for each one here. For house one, self. Let's see. Tell me about self. Self. Oh, thank you. All right, we have Mercury retrograde reinvention. And it was funny that it was, I do believe it was um, healing chaos. So somebody might be having some karma here and there's some healing. They may be hoping to have you heal this chaos for them. Yeah, Uranus. So this may be about... Um, how other people see you, which would be your rising sign. Uh, they may see you as quite intelligent here with genius here uh, and wish fulfillment. So they may be seeing you as somebody good to get together with, uh, especially on the money card here. So it might be about money. Let's see. What, you may empower this person too. I mean, they may be running away from something to come towards you. Oh, because of abundance, or it may be to communicate. Abundance, though, is here with the number seven. So this may be reflecting back on you and how you're moving ahead. And they might be assessing this uh, about maybe your spiritual position. Maybe that was an issue. What's the two of cups here? Yeah, you're, you, have, you have heritage here. When it comes to things, um, it's funny. This is the south, uh, the the south node. Well, it is south node here, but this is the past, and it's funny. South node is about life debts and the past, and it's coming through about love in the life debts uh, that you may have gone through. Uh, I feel like you have a credit here, uh, maybe even for generations upon generations. You have a gift of that high priestess or high priest and a medicine woman or man. So you may have been um, a garden witch with the herbs and things like that in past lives. You may have even been a scriber where you could scribe and connect with spirit and get messages. Maybe you were somebody that, that did that in the past. But when it comes to a past love here, I feel like this is uh, south node. Um, you may 
you may be with somebody that is paying some debts here or you're having to. I, I feel like you have a credit though, especially if you were um you have uh mysticism throughout your lineage here or even past lives prior to this one. It's only about the four of wands. You're looking for that peaceful house. Ninth house. Yeah, you're going to have faith that this is going to come through for you. Somebody is coming in for you. You haven't lost faith when it comes to this. Being patient can be really hard. Okay, so this may have something to do with missing you. Um, I feel like maybe you started your own job. Maybe it had to do with flowers or um, it's funny because uh, maybe you have flowers within your um, job that you do, which is kind of funny. I've got flowers sitting here. Um, but whatever this is, they're missing you. And this may be why there's sadness here. Uh, and the fact that you're doing your service, uh, I feel like whatever service you're doing, you're talking with your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. And it's funny that flowers and angels and ancestors and spirit guides are here. Uh, with the talking with your angels so maybe you're a tarot reader maybe you have flowers in your maybe it's me <laughs> no I don't know I, somebody's missing you though so and I'm single so maybe somebody from my past is missing me <laughs> tell me about this uh taking this risk on a uh, leap of faith here when it comes to marriage with the Hierophant or spirituality or. Ah, okay. So maybe somebody escaped you uh, due to your spirituality here. Maybe they didn't. Uh, maybe they didn't tell too many people that they were talking to you because they were worried what everybody else thought. Maybe they're a paper people pleaser. So. Let's just see. Wow, your part of your fortune is increasing because that person walked away from you or you walked away from them. There is something lacking that they may have judged you and uh, maybe you were ready to give them your heart, but they uh, maybe walked away from you or tried to escape you because of what you believed in. We have the intuition here. Yeah, you've transformed from this. I feel like this may have been a twin flame. Uh, or it could have been, if the disguise is here, it could have been um, a false twin flame, okay? Although it does say twin flame recognition, so this maybe was your real twin flame, and they walked away from you or you walked away from them, I feel like you notice the patterns that maybe they've been doing every time. They may be scared of you, scared of... Uh, the power you hold or the things you believe in. Maybe they just don't believe in those kinds of things. All right. So you've transformed. I feel like you're not the same person as you once were. And this person doesn't realize that uh, whatever they're worried about here when it comes to your belief system, I feel like they think that you're um, crazy or something because it's like they may recognize things here and maybe they only wanted a rendezvous with you and to keep it hush hush because maybe they were with somebody else. Although it does say there is maybe an ending here, but they escape you or you escape them and it's for you, not to you. So it's not being done to you. It's being done for you. And there's always an underlying reason why this may be occurring. I just got an itchy eye here. There we go. Um, so it looks like things did transform, however. So I feel like it's their loss. Uh, I feel like this transformed you, and you may have even called something out on them that maybe uh, something about a child here. Maybe you forecasted something, and maybe it came true. I don't know. Something's going on here. Ah, 11th house, friends, but we are on the 10th house. So maybe you're friends with this person. Maybe they uh, wanted to have some type of, maybe they initiated something with you. It may have impacted their family. That may have been something that came to light. 
or they wanted, I feel like they wanted some type of passionate new beginning with you or you did with them. Uh, maybe they're, maybe they're a friend and maybe they wanted to be more than that, or you wanted to be more than that with them. So what is the eight of wands and the age of cups? Now this is a loving kind, uh, news or communication of some sort that's coming through. And this is about self-sabotage. So maybe they talk about how they maybe self-sabotage something by trying to escape you. Let's see. Ah, creativity in the fifth house. So that fifth house is all about that integration. So that creativity, love and romance fun, children, and sex. So it may have just been sex why they were coming forward to begin with. So tell me about, maybe you thought they were uh, like a playa playa here, and you, you may have thought they were playing with you. Let's see, humanity. And this is about um, this is about friendship. So humanitarian. So I'm getting like is, is love received or hopes and aspirations, that universal values. And this may be about owning and routine. So maybe somebody wanted to maybe control things by owning here. Maybe they own a house. I'm kind of getting, um, especially with, Are we on the last house house here? So this is purpose, friendship, and secrets. Okay, so this is friendship. Oh, God, I can't figure out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so we're on the twelfth house. So this is secrets. So friend, it may have been a friend that wanted to be with you more than friends <laughs> right um and with that fifth house this could have been about love and romance uh wanting to come forward and talk to you again now i feel like with this owning and routine this may be about what you had maybe it wasn't enough but you have a part of a fortune increase here. So now they may be looking at you differently based on your status. Oh, brother. It's got to be about love. It can't be about what you have or what you own or what you... When you get into a partnership, it's not what you can take from that person or what they can give you. Um, whether it's a money, home, or whatever the case, it should be about love. Um, and without that, it's not going to last. It, you're kind of wasting your time by getting in with somebody based on what they have. Because even if you are um, common law, whatever they had prior to uh, what you, before you came in there, whatever they had before you came there with this relationship, they get to keep that. So if they already have a house, you know, uh, you have no part in that house. Uh, because you came in after they purchased it. So you have no right to any of the things that they already have. If you accumulate that with them, that's different. If you're both paying into something um, or if they buy a house when you're with them already after, I think it has to be more than a year or two maybe. Um, I'm not even sure on that, but I do know that anything you do have prior to that person coming into your life you keep, and they have no part in that. So it's only if you accumulate things together, and that would be shared half and half and whatnot. So I kind of feel like this owning, second house owning. So this is about what they have, the possessions, resources, or values. And it's like, maybe it's, values that you that they have that you like but owning uh, maybe you guys end up owning a house together maybe there's a routine that you get into with each other I feel like 
because of all of this going on here, you do have your financial uh, independence here. And through all this mess, uh, you may have been waiting for somebody to come through. They may have walked, what you may have, when you met this person, I think I said something about this, that maybe you didn't get off on the right foot uh, with this person. And this may be what they've gone through, uh, how they're feeling about you. Maybe they have to escape because of whatever reason. But when it comes to this, I, I feel like maybe you feel they're a player player uh, and walk away. And this might be some self-sabotaging behavior because you are the wounded warrior. You may have been waiting for this person. Maybe it is someone else that does come in here that has their financial independence. And I feel like they see you as a sweetheart and a team player. So tell me about this ending here. What is the outcome coming through? Ah, Neptune is sacrifice. So this, with Neptune, this is all about the wheel of, um, not the wheel of fortune, <laughs> the hangman, uh, imagination, pausing and reflecting, having that awareness kind of thing. And what, what are you sacrificed or how, what have you sacrificed in your life? Um, maybe you sacrificed yourself here most of your life, giving, giving, giving. So I feel like you're going to kind of hang back a bit here, have that awareness about this. Uh, maybe you're needing a different perspective when it comes to this person. Maybe they're not going to do that anymore. But you're not going to be owned. And I, I feel like you're just not going to have that kind of tolerance for somebody that's trying to control you. Yeah, you are a blessing. I feel like you've, uh, you have a lot of blessings coming through because of all the sacrifices you've made throughout your life here. Tell me about this team player messages. They're going to talk with you about this. So I this for you. They're definitely coming through with the number nine. This may be your wish fulfillment when it comes to this person. Yeah, you might already know this. <laughs> Aquarius, I know. And this is that humanitarian. This may be that universal values and those hopes and aspirations or wish. This might have been somebody's wish all along to have you as their person. So, wow. Okay, maybe this is your wish. So take it out. Resonates. It is true love coming in for you. So, I mean, one might be shady one may not be and you're gonna have to determine who's who here i kind of feel like maybe the first person that comes in isn't going to be the one maybe not even the second one so you're gonna you may have something more coming in after this other person or it may be the same person coming back in a different form um i feel like there's a big transformation here uh, maybe even in gifts, maybe you asked for clairvoyance or clairaudience or some type of clair here that's coming through as a way of doing service to spirit or humanitarian type of value where you're going to help people that can't help themselves or something along those lines, like you're going to be the voice or you're going to help them find their way to God or you're going to help them find their way home. Maybe they're passed over and they're uh, stuck in the spirit, uh, in the 3D and, and need to get back to uh, spirit and they can't find their way or they don't know they're dead or so, I don't know, something along those lines where maybe you've asked for certain gifts here to help the dead cross over. I'm getting, that's kind of. There's that, and then there's helping people find their way home. So it's almost like um, maybe you're going to be a medium or a psychic to help maybe uh, the dead crossover or the dead uh, be found. So that brings closure for people. Um, maybe finding their bodies, maybe finding what happened to them. Um, so there's closure, 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 and people aren't waiting and waiting and waiting for 
their loved ones, what happened to them? What happened to them? What happened? So maybe you're able to help heal people in that way. I'm kind of getting uh, like Taylor Henry or um, who's another one? Uh, the younger ones uh, that are getting well known because there's always there's uh, Teresa Caputo and then there's also um, geez, can't think of his he's Italian. Oh man, I can't think of his name. Um, and he's loud and happy and clear. He's he's definitely uh, very well known too. And I oh, I'm just having a hard time thinking. Oh, Matt Fraser. There we go. So there you go. I mean, there's there are people out there that are helping people have that closure of what's happened. They talk to their loved ones who's passed over. Tyler Henry Scribes and um, Matt Fraser. I think he's just he's able to uh, see or hear or clairvoyance or symbols or something. Um, and of course, symbols for Teresa Caputo. So there's always symbolism when it comes to things. And it may be just sitting down with your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides about what symbol means what to you and to them uh, as a way of uh, getting the message from your person, for you, from your person, from your um, loved ones or passed over loved ones or your angels or ancestors of some sort here or spirit guides of what the message is they're trying to tell you what means what so you're able to communicate with them to give the messages from their um, families to the past over loved ones to uh, the ones that are living and be able to communicate with them in order to give them the messages they need to hear it's almost like um Maybe you wanted to be like Matt Frazier or Teresa Caputo or whatever. Maybe you wanted to be a medium or a, or a psychic or whatever. I'm getting a couple different things for different people. So don't, if it's not your message, don't take it. I'm getting, um, hmm. almost getting like a teaming up with this person they may have gifts as well and it's like especially if you're mirroring each other and it's a twin flame now not all twin flames do come together so this twin flame that maybe ran away from you um maybe they come back uh maybe things don't work out maybe they self-sabotage again uh i feel like you you may be done with somebody from the past and having this new person come in. Now, maybe you give them a chance again. I don't know. It's kind of a... Uh... It could be really great with somebody here, but they, they're they not willing to... You know, some people, when they get into service, they lose a lot of friends. And maybe this person isn't willing to lose people or be judged by people and kind of getting here. So that may be why they don't want this relationship. And not all twin flames will get together. Maybe that's why they're trying to keep it in the down low where nobody's going to know about it because they don't want anybody to know that they're with you. Um, maybe they're they may be embarrassed to say they're with you, right? So it's almost something like that I'm getting for some of you. So, I mean, take that how it resonates. Anyway, this is what I have for you. This has been a long reading. It's been an hour long. Uh, but your true love is coming for some collective here coming through. So I feel like you're going to have that happiness and there's going to be that sense of being complete with this person um that kind of uh you complete me kind of thing uh like you've been looking for that missing pieces of your life and they're that missing puzzle piece that fits right so it kind of feels like that uh, it's like 
maybe even that you've known each other for lifetimes. I, I'm getting with that past love here. Um, I'm kind of getting here too that you you may be really yearning for this person and they're really letting you down in some ways here, especially if it's the twin flame. I feel like you're correct in your analysis or your intuition that might be telling you that this person, um, I feel like it, you're right about them being a player player or there's something you're right about about a child there's something that you're right about when it comes to this person and they know it and they and it may be that they find out it may it may scare them that you knew and it came true they may not have uh wanted to be with you because you didn't have a lot they may see you as abundant now. You're just getting more abundance as the time goes by. So is it because of money? I want to find out. Is it because of money? Why is this person coming back here? If this is a past person, why are they coming back around? Neptune. Mm. Okay, so this is about pausing and reflecting, having awareness here. Dream and transcend. They may have been dreaming about you. I'm kind of getting that maybe they feel like they have to come back because otherwise someone else is going to get you. Is it about what they own? What you own, square, challenge, challenging situation, and a mountain to climb. So this may be a bit of a burden I'm getting uh, with this one person. Um, they may be giving you that emotional roller coaster here. We have house 10, structure, discipline, life mission, accomplishments, and career. So this may have something to do with your career. This may not be something they like. This may be very challenging when it comes to this because they may not want you to do what you're doing. And I feel like you're like, yeah, no, I'm doing what I'm doing. So like it or not, see you later. That may be why this ends. Let's see. Taurus, trust, patience, and sensuality. I feel like you've maybe been very patient with this person. You may not be able to trust them, I feel. Um, it may have been about sex, the sexuality here, and wanting to have some type of rendezvous with you if they could get away with it, um, maybe even while they were with someone else. We have the earth here. Persistence, patience, and practicality. I feel like you are being very practical and logical about this situation. You may even be a Capricorn uh, if that's the case. Um, let's see here. Maybe a Leo. We have Mars. Move forward and defend yourself. So you may have you may have to uh, get real with this person and just. Say, so you don't know what spirituality is all about then, because if you did, you would know. Maybe if you're a tarot reader like I am, maybe you might say something along the lines that, look, it's for entertainment purposes only. And it's not like you are believing everything verbatim, that this is your reading and you're believing the whole thing of, you're just taking what messages resonate with you that, um, are like kind of with your story and they might be just things you need to be aware of or that maybe look at this direction or maybe it's just like a guidance thing it's not that you believe everything that happens in the reading so it's like 
they may not understand what you actually do or, or what spiritual uh, spirituality is all about because what was in the Bible before, they had different gods they were believing in. And that was one of the things um, that mediums and psychics had going on at that time, that era when the Bible was written. And that may be why that was put in the Bible about mediums and tarot cards and that kind of thing, psychics, because of the problem about them having more than one god. And then, of course, back then there was dark magic and black magic and um, for the bad reasons and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, there was, it, it's completely different now for what a clairvoyant or, or, or psychic or a medium is nowadays it's about embracing um, God and it's about having uh, gifts from God so it's not the same as what it once was when the Bible was written nowadays it's about embracing spirit or God or whoever you believe in or however you want to name them um, Jesus whatever um, it's about having God's gifts and embracing those gifts and uplifting people, letting them know they can live their best life and that they have angels, ancestors, and spirit guides that are trying to guide them and give them messages or alert them to things. I mean, spirit is all around us. I mean, there's too many people that have had too many different things that have happened to them where they've been saved from a car accident or they've had um, presence, feeling of that presence in their house or lights flickering or somebody trying to get their attention. Maybe it's through numbers or through uh, memories or uh, some type of recognition that they are there uh, trying to contact them or let them know they're not alone. And it's it's just that simple, you know, and people make it way out of line here, uh, make a, a a molehill into a freaking mountain. So it's like understanding what the basics are about what tarot is all about and how it's about living your best life. It's about the good things in life, having the positive mindset, having those positive affirmations, learning how to manifest good things for yourself and getting rid of that negative Nancy in, in your mind, you know, um, having that uh, positive dialect that you have within your brain um, of instead of somebody in your brain saying bad things to yourself, you're actually saying good things and, and having that positive affirmations. You're not coming down on yourself. You're giving yourself a break. You're understanding how this works you're learning the lessons of life, and that's what it's about. And it's about what you've learned about yourself. So, I mean, people don't maybe understand what tarot is, especially nowadays. It's like the new sexy. So it's the 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 it's the newest trend kind of thing, and it's beautiful and embrace it. How is that a bad thing? It's not. And that's the thing. And even some of the psychics or mediums are like, well, we're talking to things we don't even know who they are. We we think they're God and maybe they're not. Well, no, you know if it's God. I mean, if you've ever had God's presence within you or around you, it is such a powerful love that it's not even earthly. It's like out of this world type of love, so much love that it's you automatically burst into tears. It's that much love. It's not something you would feel on earth. It's something that is far greater than you could ever expect. So if you've ever speaking with, spoken with God and and people there that have know what I'm talking about when I say it's such an over powerful um, energy of love. Uh, you know who you're talking to. Okay. You know who this is. This is not a dark entity. This is not anything dark whatsoever. This is so much love. You can't help but cry. So, I mean, 
anyone that's saying that kind of crap. I just don't believe that. Um, I don't believe in coincidences either. Things happen for a reason. And it just blows my mind that people have such a negative uh, view when it comes to tarot reading or, um, oh, it's it, you're not supposed to do that. It says it in the Bible. Yeah, back then. But things have evolved since then. I mean, come on. How many millions of years ago was, well, not maybe millions of years, but you know what I mean. How much time has gone by since the Bible was written? I mean, come on. Evolution. Come on. I mean, seriously. So anyways, I'm ranting. <laughs> Let's see what the bottom of the deck says. Nurture, comfort, and protect. And I feel like that is all about self. So I feel like you're going to do the right thing here. You're going to navigate what you need to do to get to where you need to be with the right person. And I feel like there's blessings coming in for you, especially for whatever you've sacrificed throughout your life. I feel like you may have learned a lot of lessons at an early age all the way through. And it may have been all your life because maybe you've always said to your parents or friends or whatever um maybe you don't even have friends because every friend you've had has been jealous of you so they kind of try to sabotage you or they talk shit about you behind your back because um your light is bothering their demons so it's like Maybe you haven't had friends uh, because of your light, okay? So you may have even asked your parents, like, why don't people like me? What am I doing? I'm nice. I'm all these things. So why are they having a problem with me? You know, and it's like, it's their problem. So that's the thing. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of you. It's none of your business what they think of you. You know, you're doing you and that's all that matters. And nobody else is living in your shoes or walking in your walk or walking in your shoes. So they really don't matter uh, to what you're doing. And they can't be living that, oh, I'm not going to do this because of what everybody else thinks. <laughs> okay, so you being you and your authentic self is what matters. So anyways, I'm ranting again. <laughs> All right, you guys, this was the Astrology Life Wheel. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. Now, if you really want to help support the channel, I mean, you can donate if you'd like when the super thanks or the PayPal account in the description box below. Or you can do the just watching the videos. But if you really want to help, support the channel subscribe if you haven't done so already because that'll really propel things forward for the channel and a lot of people get more exposure to the messages and me ranting of course <laughs> anyhow um it's just things that come through that i feel like i'm meant to say to someone here and i it i hope this helps a lot of people in a lot of ways that they're getting something out of the readings of uh, understanding a little bit about tarot and how things work. And um, anyhow, take care, you guys. Stay blessed. And we'll see you next time. Later.